Hi guys, welcome to this session on Power BI. In this module, I want to just explain how you can link an access database into Power BI. So on the screen at the moment, you can see I've got three little charts, which is all getting its data from an access database. So what I want to do is create a new one. And if I just close this down, I'll just save that and then get a new one. New report and then I'll link it into an access database okay so it says get data so I've already got one there but I'll just get data now this will give you access to your computer via all these features so you've got all these options Excel you can see access down the bottom there click on access and then you connect into the data base so the database I want to connect to is accounts and it's business 2017 and then it'll connect up then it'll show you all your tables and, and queries and you select whichever table or query that you want so you can see a list there of queries and then down the bottom you'll go, come down to tables so this is the query that i want obviously you can select more than one query so i want this one just tick that so down the bottom here you get the option to load it straight into power bi or transform the data now i do need to transform this data a little bit because some of the location fields have your site your site your site and i just want the, the town the city so i want to get rid of that or sort that out so i'm going to transform data and that will load up power query editor which i can then move it across to that column where it's got your site Go back a bit Never find it when you want it. Training venue, your site Leicester. So this column, what I need to do here is split this column into different elements. So I'm going to split it by space. So split column is here by delimiter. And then it gives you the option for space. Each occurrence of space. Yep. Okay. So that should split that column into three. So now I've got your Wingo house and things like that. All I'm interested on is the city. Now, the problem I've got here is it's split North Shields. So I'm now not interested in this column or this column. So I'm just going to delete those columns or remove them. Now what I need to do is join these two together so if i highlight these two so i need to merge these and then they become one column you see down the bottom there it's, it's not going to do anything with um, the null values but it is going to join these two together like north shields into one column so on the transform tab, so just going to transform tab, you have the merge column feature. So I'm just going to merge columns. So separator is going to be a space. And I'm going to call the column location. And then OK. So then you can see it's brought in North Shields down the bottom there. And any other of these columns that you need to fix or delete, you can do. But I'm not going to spend any more time doing that. I'm just going to go back to home, close and apply this into Power BI. And then you'll see all the fields appear down this right hand side. And once they've appeared, you can start building up 
your Power BI report or visualization. So let's do a, a little column chart first off. So you've got a filter area and then you've got your data area. So let's go for course and let's go for amount. So you can see it there. So it's got the courses. Just make that bigger. And the amount. Now you can do a filter on this. So I've got all. So we've got different options down the bottom there. Courses. That's amount actually. I don't want that. Courses. All. I don't want blank, say. So to do it the other way around. Get rid of blank. And just looking down there, everything else looks okay. So that's the amount by courses. And let's just create another one, another graph. Let's look for um, course by students. So tick courses by students. If I come down a bit further, there's students. Tick that one. And then you get another little graph there, like so. And then one more. Let's do a graph by sector. And there's sector. By students as well. And then you've got the different sectors and you can adjust that so you can see things. So this is an access database and these are the reports that you can generate very basic ones I'm doing at the moment. You've got filter options as you can see, and you've got different visualizations if you want to change this, and you can bring in different fields, or you can transform this data and not bring in as many fields. Some of these are not relevant. That's a location. If I just have a look at location, what that's gonna look like. I'll go location by um, students. So again, you've got a blank at the top, which is quite high. So location, select all, don't want that option. There you go, different locations. Um, it's not a graph actually, I don't know why I did that, but there you go, it's looking better, it's a text field. So that's basically how to bring access an access table or an access query into Power BI and then do the visualizations to get it how you want it to look and filter it in the best way you well whatever you want to do so that's the end of this session hopefully you found that of use i'll see you in the next one